Hey guys, welcome to Cooking 101. And let me make sure the camera's set right because, you know, you want to see us, right? Hey, there we go. Okay. So, first thing we always do, Braden, you can unmute yourself now. Yay. Okay. So, the first thing we always do is wash our hands. Riley, how long do we wash our hands? <laughs> Five seconds? No. I promise you I taught my son better than this. <laughs> how long do we wash our hands? Ten seconds. <laughs> how many times do you sing happy birthday? <laughs> Once. No. Okay, he's being a smart butt. And I do know he gets it from me, so it's okay. So we're going to go ahead and wash our hands. Remember, you got to use warm water. Not scalding hot so you don't burn yourself, but warm water. Hands wet, put some soap on it. Riley, you too, since you're cooking. Nah, nah. This is my son, Riley, with the blue hair because he's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Why is it all listening? Because it is. So we're trying to make all these bubbles. No. And you make sure you get in around your fingers with each finger, remember? Right in. Oh, what? I'm not cooking. Um, <laughs> in my bedroom, drinking some nice Kool Aid. That's a little hot. And we're going to go up our wrists no. and get the back of our hands. But I will get some sanitizer. Shush. And we're going to get under our nails. So scrape that stuff up underneath the nails. You don't want cooties on your food. Yeah, Mom. Ugh. Look, yeah, Riley. Mom, I washed my hands. There, Riley. Is this better? Ready? Be quiet. Okay. And just let your hands run up underneath there. If you remember from last week, we don't use the dirty kitchen towel that's been hanging on the stove yeah, Mom. forever. <laughs> we use paper towels. And we don't shut the water off with our hands. We shut the water off with the paper towel. <laughs> a little bit. Riley, I got a nickname <laughs> for you. Riley, I got a nickname for you. Small right. Dan. Small Dan. From down to the M. Okay, so what we're making today is nothing, is we're going to make chicken breast, boneless, skinless chicken breast. Mm. And kids, um, I know I would do this as a parent. Um, I always, when we buy them from the store, I cut them in half, like, because they're really, really thick. And when they're that thick, they don't cut or they don't cook very evenly. So I cut them into thinner pieces because that's all we really eat anyway. We don't eat, eat these big, thick pieces. No, we do. So let me show you. Oh. Instead of it being a big, thick piece, now it's just a thin piece like that. And I bag up because there's only three of us eating. So I bag up two full chicken breasts, the full thick ones. I slice them in half and I put, so you have four halves in each bag. And that feeds us for a night. So we're gonna be making chicken breasts. Mashed potatoes. And mashed potatoes, instant mashed potatoes and corn. And we're going to make cello. Maybe so, cookies. If you remember, we're not making cookies this week. Oh, come on. If you remember last week, I also told you how to make your own disinfecting wipes. So, Riley, tell them how to make their own disinfecting wipes. How do you start? I'm cutting a thing of paper towel in half. So, I have two containers. We cut the paper towels in half. So this is one half of a roll of paper towels. And you put that in your container. And what are the directions, Riley? Follow the directions. 
Tell them how much of each thing. One in one. You gotta half, speak up. One and one half cup of water. One fourth cup of rubbing alcohol. And I use ninety one percent rubbing alcohol. Four to five drops of dish soap. So that was one and a half cups of water, and I use warm water. A half, or I'm sorry, a quarter cup of ninety one percent rubbing alcohol, and four to five drops of dish soap. And you mix that in your measuring cup and you pour that down over your paper towels and once it's sat and soaked for a little bit you can pull the core of the paper towels out the the tube and you will have pop-up paper towels or pop-up sanitizing wipes so before you start cooking especially with poultry like chicken and things like that you need to be sanitizing every surface and also, if you remember, we're avoiding cross-contamination, which means when one thing becomes contaminated and you lay it down or use it for something else, then that also becomes contaminated. So we will have two sets of tongs, one for raw meat and one for cooked meat. Um, we will need a whisk. For the potatoes. For well, not necessarily for the potatoes. For the jello, and a spoon for the potatoes, and also a spoon for our corn. And today we're gonna use frozen corn. I always buy frozen vegetables. So, we're gonna start the chicken first because that takes the longest time to cook. So, Riley, here is this. And if you remember right, we said that you need to get your pans a little warm or hot and make sure your parents are with you and showing you how to use your own stove at first, at least, and that you have their permission to be doing this. So we're gonna turn the camera and we're gonna go over to the stove. And at the same time, so Riley, would you like to read the directions to the Jello? Not really. <laughs> My son's a turd. I'm just saying. Behave, hey, Riley. Be quiet, Brayden. No one asked you. I did not just drop that. So there's yeah. the stove. Okay. I'm trying to speak here. I am so sorry. In a medium bowl, add one cup boiling water. Can you hear him, Brayden? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did see. Okay. <laughs> the content, contents of package. So what should we do? We have our tea kettle with water in it already. Put it on high. So we need, this is the back burner. You need to put your back burner on high so you can boil your water. And then here are our two pans for chicken. And Riley, why don't you set this one on medium? Right down the middle. Nope, down. We only use two burners, there you go. And we're gonna set this one on medium. And we're gonna let those warm up just a little bit. But we're also gonna add a little bit of oil to each pan to keep things from sticking and maybe to give our food a little bit more flavor. So we'll let those warm up just a little bit. As soon as I throw this up here in space. That's not very nice. <laughs> So we're gonna use a little bit of every different appliance, kind of. We're gonna use the microwave, we're using the stove. Um, so um, the only thing we're not using is like- Streaming. We are, I know, I'm recording it, not streaming it. So Brayden, you got any questions so far? No. No? Well, I, I got one, I got one. Okay. I'm gonna throw a jello packet through a camera. 
I'm not exactly sure how he plans on doing that. I'll go right, the like, camera. Will you, will you see if there's a couple more lids for these, please? They would be on the bottom, yep. Yeah, they're all small lids. Oh, wait. Oh. They're not all small lids. I know better than that. So there's one more bigger one like that. No, that's the crock pot lid. I know. There is no other bigger Okay, one. okay, okay. Well, this will work, I guess. So we're also going to put lids on our chicken so it doesn't splatter anywhere. And you can start to feel the heat. Let's turn that one up just a little bit more. Did you put this over it? No. So I just grabbed it. Yeah, because part of what the lid does is keep the heat in. So it cooks it a little better in a little less time. <laughs> I just okay. took my foot and just melted. <laughs> so when we're putting oil in, and you've got to be careful when you're putting the chicken in with some oil because it can splatter. We're just going to put just the tiniest little bit of oil in. Oops. Not a whole lot at all. Stop licking my foot. Riley, you want to grab the chicken? Hold on, I gotta do something. Be quiet, Brynn. Okay. So, remember, we're gonna use our own separate set of tongs for this. Mm, poppers. And I'm gonna put two chicken breasts in each one. Hear how it's sizzling already? Oh, that's it. No bay. Oh boy. And we're gonna cover those. I got doggos. Hey other doggo. Ow. Hi doggo. Hi doggo. Okay, so this goes immediately in the trash, and these go in the trash. The Get sharp that way the dog is in the right now. Okay, out. Go. Hi, Heaven. I have her Chromebook. I had to do this for her. Oh, great. Now I can see what heavens do. I'm going to pin this. There. Okay. Our water should be just about boiled, too. So, on our chicken, I like your kitchen. We're going to put salt and pepper. She said she likes your kitchen. Oh, thank you. It's a little loud over here, so I can't hear a whole lot. Hi, Heaven. Do you know her, Riley? Say what? Do you know her? Uh, yeah. Wait, who am I? Oh, I didn't know. What kind of question is that? Riley. I'm standing there so she can see who it is. So she knows who it is. It's little Dan. It's little Dan TDM. Oh, you're going to get it, Brandon. <laughs> okay. Or a little chef, you can want to call him. Yep. So, I'm going to show you what Riley's doing. Nothing exciting over here yet. So I can Hi, little chef. What you cooking there? Oh. All right, that's enough. Brayden, I'm going to so, back. We're going to use this to put our jello in. So, Riley is going to empty the jello packet in there. Ooh, and we are using strawberry 
uh, sugar-free Jello. Mm. Okay, Greg. Mm. And you can go ahead and put some corn in the bowl too, since we're waiting. <laughs> I can't get it. <laughs> ah! Finally. Grab the scissors. So we're gonna put some corn in this bowl too and microwave that when we're ready to cook. So go ahead and put that in there. Hey Brayden, I got scissors. Okay. You don't know what happened when I have scissors. Nothing, you cut stuff. No. Um, he's in here I'm st you still have to figure out how to throw Jello through your screen, Riley. And then you can put what's left of that one thing of butter on there. Um, that doesn't go in there. We got a corn, a strawberry carrot flavored piece of corn now. Is that nice. chocolate you just put in the bowl? No, right. for chocolate. That's corn. That's corn! Corn on a cob. Corn, corn no. white chocolate. No, not chocolate. Sorry, having to chop your dreams. Okay, so our water for that is no, boiling. Out. And Riley, how do we measure water? Oh, with the measuring cup. How much water do we need? Hot water. Do you remember? No. Um, mine, my friends. Oh wait, one cup. One cup. Okay. So you need one cup of boiling water. How do you measure water? Set it up on the counter. I don't know, you have to explain that. Okay, so when you guys are measuring liquids, we're gonna use a clear container to measure liquids. So liquids and solids get measured different. So a solid would be measured in a measuring cup. <laughs> like this. A liquid will be measured in a cup like that. And when you're measuring it, there you meet it on a flat level surface. And there's always this little dip. So you'll see the, the liquid going up and around. And this little dip needs to be at the line. That's where you're measuring it. Which I got it just for so okay. Go ahead and pour that in and start stirring that up. Yay! Mm hmm. I'm making jello. Wow. That's satisfying. And I'm going to flip our chicken over. Oh, that smells so good. Is this I how you cook it? Stir and stir and stir. Is this how you cook every day? Brayden, if you were here to smell this, you would think it would smell really good too. I know. I'd rather be in the video trying to do this. <laughs> I can't wait for this like Riley, I haven't seen you in forever. Make sure you stir all those little speckles up. And so he also needs a cup of cold water. So I'll measure out the cup of cold water for him. Oh, I thought I thought I first thought she said holy water. <laughs> okay, what? <laughs> she had holy water. About a month ago. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Okay. Britton, are you texting me? No, it's not me this time. Someone's texting so me. So once that's mixed up really, really well. I mean, I can't see. Now we're going to dump the cold water in it. Without trying to dump it on me. And stir it up. And then he's gonna put the lid on that and it's gonna go in the refrigerator until it gets jelly. Which I'm gonna eat it. Hey, you're saving a piece for me, Riley. Okay. Get the middle too. And me. Okay, that should be good. So tap that off on the side. Put that in the sink. Put it in the sink. Grab the lid. And that needs to go to there. You want to open it? Please. No, no, please. 
So that's going to take several hours to set. So we're going to come back over here and we're going to start our potatoes now. Can I put the corn on. We're not starting the corn yet. So instant potatoes. Riley, how many cups of water do we need? Uh, So we need one and a third. No, we're going to make six. We're making six servings of these instant mashed potatoes. Oh, and you've got to follow the cups. directions on the back. So two cups. Measure out two cups of water. Where did everybody go? <laughs> what, Brady? I come back from doing something, I just see everybody gone. Oh, that's because I'm right here. Oh. Okay, is that two cups of water? Okay. So we have two cups of water. And we're going to pour it into our big pan. You need to and we're going to set this pan to high so it boils the water. I forgot the salt. Guys, what, how hot does the water need to be in Fahrenheit to boil? Hot. Um, 350? No. 400? No. No, it's a little less. 700. So, 212 degrees Fahrenheit oh, is way too a little of water. I was way too high. Super, super hot. So, that means we're dealing with some really, really hot, dangerous stuff, guys. So, you've got to be careful. <laughs> and, here's a little science me. for you. What happens when you add salt to water. It boils. No, 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 no. It makes big bubbles. No. <laughs> um, evaporates. The sodium and chloride separate. Oh. Because sodium and chlorine is what solvents. Sodium chloride. And it causes a chemical reaction. And it lowers the temp boiling point of water. So we're going to add scissors, a little bit of salt. Put this in the way, Riley. And we're going to stir that scissors. up. Scissors. I like, I love Riley, the... Riley, I'd like to check the chicken, please. I love the um, salt machine. That's awesome. I shall stir the chicken a little bit. Be careful. So I'm going to splatter on it. I'm going to put some salt on it. Okay. Oh, who touched my feet? What temperature does your chicken need to be in order to be done? Um, 450. No. Was that close? Check that one, too, please. 220. No. Oh, wow. So a lot of meat are 160. Oh, that's close. Isn't it? But poultry is a whole different ballgame because poultry, raw poultry, can make you very, very sick. So your poultry needs to be 180 degrees to be done. Mm. Mm. Me. Okay, ready? Yep. So we're going to test this in the thickest part of the chicken. So we're next. The thickest part. Oh, you're unselfless. So, what are we at right now, Ray? 165. Okay. So, that one's at 165. Is that done yet? No. Okay, let's look. I wish more people join. I think. Can I like 172. Okay. So I'm going to turn the heat off on this one. This because that residual heat, I have an electric stove. Some people have gas stoves. So for an electric stove, when you turn it off, does the heat automatically shut off? No. So you can shut it off and the heat will speak. Still keep coming a little bit. <laughs> Pokey. So we're gonna move this and we're gonna move 
our water for our potatoes up to this bigger burner. Mm -hmm. I so want to lick this. Mm -hmm. That would make you sick. <laughs> so all of you would cook meat. You want to let it rest a little bit. Letting it rest means taking it off the heat, leaving it in the container, so when it rests, it absorbs that moisture back in. So, you know, sometimes, like, if you have chicken, it's really, really dry, and it's hard to chew yes. and swallow. Oh, yes, I have that before. So, it letting sucks. it rest will keep it moist. Nikki, I got a weird question. Yep. Is Riley your son? Yes. Yes. I knew it. <laughs> she tells us on the okay. bus every day. So you guys have seen water boil, right? No. You know what it yeah. looks like when it's boiling, right? Yeah. Okay. This is bad. Riley. Okay. Let's get the mashed potatoes going. Your favorite, Riley. Okay. Hey. Brayden. What? I need your charger. My computer's about to die. It's in my room. Oh, we'll get it. no. <laughs> okay, so how do we make potatoes, Riley? Two cups of water. You gotta talk louder. Two cups of water. One half table. tablespoon. Yes. Tablespoon. Okay. No, teaspoon. TPS. Okay, so no, TSP. Teaspoon, yes. So there's measurements of the, on the back of this. I'm going to see if I can show you guys this box. So we are using, can you see? Oh, it's a little backwards. But we're using the six servings. So we put two cups of water in there. And it called for a half teaspoon. TSP is teaspoon of salt, which is optional. Five tablespoons of butter. So the butter we are using, I use real butter. Some people use margarine. Riley, grab me the uh, measuring spoons out of there so I can show them. Nope, up top. So if you guys are using like a tub of margarine, this is what you're gonna use to measure with, is the measuring spoon. So this biggest one is a tablespoon. So would you, you would use five of these. So on our butter, we have tablespoons marked. So we're going to do... My grandma, why, I, know, I think I know why my grandmother used that kind of butter now. What? Because you could just see which one, where you need to cut it, and just bam, done. Well, yeah, that's kind of easy. But also, uh, like, as far as me, margarine is, you know, kind of made up of a bunch of different things. Butter is literally just cream from milk and salt that's it Brayden, look at this so we're going to add our butter we have two of these. to the boiling water is riley good at cooking chicken yes yes, yes. okay I, need some chicken. I cook chicken on the grill we're going to turn the heat off remember because we have residual heat and so we just put our butter in. It calls for three quarters of a cup of milk. So which measuring cup are we going to use, guys? Are we going to use this measuring cup or the clear one? Clear one. The clear no, it's, it's so Milk is a... Is it liquid or solid? Liquid! Milk is a liquid. So we're going to use the clear this is solid. So grab the milk. Three quarters of a cup, please. And then it says two cups of the potato flakes. Are the potato flakes a liquid or a solid? Solid. So which measuring cup are we going to use? The silver one. Okay. So I'm going to put two cups. That's so this one place. that we have is a one cup measuring cup. And you want to get it as level as you can possibly get it. Can I put this one? And see, measuring when you're baking, like cookies or cakes or something, is super, super, uber important. Not yet. So there was one cup. 
Like, I use a measuring cup to measure out, like, when I make waffles, I use a measuring cup because I don't know how, because our tablespoons and everything are all ruined. Like, you can't see what they exactly are, so I have to use a table, um, a table. Dude, you can give me an idea yeah. for next time. We should make waffles. I was going to do pancakes for next time. Waffles, well, waffles are too easy. Waffles are too oh. easy. Well, but not everybody is as old as you guys. Okay, go ahead and add the milk, Brian. That's I true. Know I know how to make pancakes when I was little. Yeah. I know how to make waffles. But not everybody watching this is as old as you guys or as experienced in cooking as you guys. What are we talking about? I can only I only know how to make waffles. <laughs> no, that's right. I know how to cook more things when I was little. Yeah. Have to help. Really? Okay. At my dad's. Next time I come over to your house, you're gonna show me how to cook. Okay. Wait, you were really good at cooking on the yeah. grill, guys. Okay, tell so, them how good my hamburgers are. He makes some killer hamburgers. Just, oh, you can show me how to make that then. Okay. So here's our corn. There's a little bit of butter in it. Can you see that? Yep. Yeah. yeah. So this is gonna go in the microwave. I'm gonna start it with three minutes because this microwave is. Kind of powerful. Oh yeah. So I'm just, since it's frozen, I'm starting with three minutes. If you're using a can of corn, a minute and a half would do. Is this good? And make sure you keep your yes. Can I like this? No. Oh. <laughs> make sure you keep your milk and your butter put up so it doesn't go bad. Because that kind of stuff can go bad really easily. Yeah, this is when I go to your house because I want like food. <laughs> well, you know, not during the quarantine. That's up to Justin. That's up to Justin. Not during the quarantine. We're not allowing you to cover during the quarantine. Um, but yeah, he's definitely now. Yes. But I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hang out. Okay, that's a chicken. Jeez. An art is and crafty. And okay, so <laughs> Riley, go and Riley is spirit. So bring it over. Bring it over. And we're going to show them the testing. Right after I get this corner. So I'm going to try to show you guys this thermometer and everything while Riley's testing it and what the chicken and stuff looks like. That's a nice, fancy one. Okay. Riley, test it. Bra Brayden. What? Let me get my charger. No, the charger's back. No, no. You need it in the middle of the meat. Okay, show them what this looks like. So can you see that? You have 105. What, Next, one, five. a little bit above. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Right? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That gets okay. really annoying. Let's test the other one. So the temperature is going back down. Well, that's hot. Okay, hold it over your hand. Thank you. Okay. I have it set at 174, but that's okay. Okay. Shush it! Right? Okay, this goes in the sink to be washed because remember, we're not cross contaminating anything. <laughs> So I'm going to show you what this chicken looks like. Guys. Mm, it looks nice and brown. Yep, go ahead and raise it up. Uh, oh, we can't. Are you guys having a portable camera or something? Yep. Cool. I know they okay. have to leave the house. Yeah, why are you on my bed? All right, guys. Nice and brown so chicken. What our chicken looks like. It looks oh. like. So, see, it's got some brown to it. Give me the tongs. Let's flip it over and show them the other side. Pork chop. <laughs> Pork chop was pretty good. Just too dry. I like to taste those little things. Ours is not dry. So, grab a couple plates, right? Ours is super moist. That's our microwave. This is what the chicken looks like. Is this your guys' dinner? What? Is this your guys' dinner? Yes. What time is it? Okay. Well, we're not going to eat this until later. We're going to sample little bits of it. Yeah. Oh. Oh, like TV shows. Yeah. 
So here's our potatoes. I don't know if you can see them. Riley's definitely not going to sample those. Do you guys like your potatoes with salted or non-salted? I like my salt. So let's see about the corn. Let's check on our corn. Riley, you want to grab some oven mitts and check the corn? Okay, we need a hot pad on our counter too, so we don't ruin our counter. Just Mini oven mitts. Okay. They sound like crabs, Riley. Yeah, but they actually work pretty good. It matches you. With all the blue things. And we're going to stir it around because I have a feeling the inside of these is not hot. And I was right. And yes. Oh, no, I was wrong. It is hot. So I'm going to add a little bit of salt to these. And you can add pepper, but I'm not adding pepper because I'm allergic to pepper. Stop being mean to it, Riley. It's a jar opener for us little weenies that can't open jars. And crab, crab leg thingies. Yep. So, Riley, you want to grab us a couple forks? Yes, I do, because I'm scared to try this. Riley, you must be proud of yourself, aren't you? So, do you guys think this is something you're capable of? That's definitely easy for us. It's easy for you? I've been yeah. cooking since I was like eight. Okay, our potatoes are a little dry, so I would add a little more milk to them, maybe. <laughs> Your camera froze. Well, I'm um, like. Have, have, do you see the screen? <laughs> I see the screen and Riley just. <laughs> Funny. He's eating in front of me. I just took a screenshot of it. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. I can't screenshot of you. How do you do that? Hit these two buttons and then hit this. Wait, hit it. These two and this. Hit it and then you wrap over his head. Wait, what buttons? Oh, hold on, I'll get it for you. I don't thought that you were Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Why are you watching me? Dang it. Oh, she left, sorry. You got that though. Oh, okay. I got a black one. Hey guys, are you still there? Yeah, we're still here. You. Uh, I'm on my phone. My my computer died. Oh, I was like, we got we got a screenshot of your son with the mouth open with a spoon valve and see some mashed potatoes. It's <laughs> hilarious. Hang on, let me see if I can. How do I get I'm trying. Of give me a minute. I'm trying to pull it back up on my computer. All right. Oh my. Uh, that was weird. I don't want this. Okay. Let's try the corn. Click. The corn is really good. Yeah, it is. That's what it is. Sweet. Sweet joint. Here we go. Riley. Hey, there we go, guys. <sighs> Hang on. Okay. Hey, what are you doing? doing? Oh, join now. There we go. There we go. I'm going to. There we go. I was just going to pin you there. Wow. There we are. Okay. So now the chicken. Is Riley in his room? Nope, Riley, right here. Riley, guess what? I got a screenshot of you with your mouth wide open trying to take a bite of the mashed potato. <laughs> <laughs> your That's face awesome. is just hilarious. I'm going to send you on Gmail. You have to do that. 
it because glitched it on the so perfect funny. timing. Because it froze. This chicken is really, really good, guys. It is. Hold on, right? I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna send you the screenshot. Okay. On Gmail. It's funny. Wait, how do you know <laughs> that I have a back? Well, you have a back. Yeah, he didn't uh, have it for a while. Oh, I know that. I forgot he did. I forgot he took him away. Yeah. So. You learn bad things. Okay, well, guys. Well, I'm gonna end the recording here. And. Get off here and clean up our mess. So, you have fun with it, Riley. Ah, uh, you're funny. It was great sharing this with you today. I hope you guys are on homework help tomorrow morning. I will definitely be there. Make a list of questions you have to ask me, okay? Okay. I have eleven questions. Okay. I will. I will give a, or try to give eleven answers. Okay. I got more than 11. I get confused on all of my questions because I have learning disability, so it's kind of confusing for me, and being out of school does not help me. Nope. And I sleeping learned, it does I not help you either, Kevin. Huh? And sleeping doesn't help you either. Yeah. It's sleeping in. Shut up. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. I will talk to you later, okay? All right. Check your Gmail, Riley. All right. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. I don't even know how.